What's the challenge in, in getting this offense off to a fast start from the first drive? What has to start happening faster? We have to play clean with fundamentals. You know, I think it's something we talk about. We spend a lot of time uh, in the meeting room, on the practice field. You know, Coach Rabel in front of the whole team. You know, he spends a lot of time on technique and fundamentals and um, just playing clean football operation. And I think we've, we've hurt ourselves. You know, you go back to the beginning of the year even. You know, it's too many drives early in games have been stopped by ourselves. You know, penalties, um, dumb mistakes. So we just have to play clean football, you know, play with fundamentals, play with good technique, take care of the football, and, and we'll be moving the ball. On an ideal day, what is the identity of this offense supposed to be? I think we want to run the football, be a physical front. You know, obviously, um, Derek's a, a big, tough runner. You know, we want to get him carries, get him going early, um, you know, set the tone that way, and then, and then play off of that. Well, usually you guys are going to take whatever points you can get down in the red zone. And just in terms of this team and playing Kansas City and a team that can put up so many points, how important is it for you guys to, to make sure you're getting in the end zone and you're getting those touchdowns in this game? Well, it's huge. You know, it's huge every week. Every week, um, you know, usually comes down to the end of the game in the NFL. So uh, anytime you can score touchdowns, you know, you're getting four bonus points there. And, um, you know, you're going to put yourself in more situations to win games, obviously, the more touchdowns you get when you're down there. I think we've been gradually getting better as the season's gone on. We just have to stay on that track um, and, and take advantage of those opportunities. Always will be successful, obviously, but against a team like the Chiefs who have a pretty high-powered offense, how important do you think it is to kind of control the football and play a little keep away while scoring at the end? Well, it's huge. You know, you need to stay on the field. You know, I think that's uh, it's been important for us all year. Um, the more you can do that, the more opportunities you're going to have. And I think uh, just being clean on first and second down, keeping yourself in third and manageable, converting those and, and keeping drives going, sustaining drives. And then, like uh, she just asked, you know, finishing drives in the red zone. You know, once you get down there, got to put them in the end zone. And uh, and doing that, I think we will put ourselves in the best position to win. Seems like you've been a lot better at it after halftime. Um, how much that time of possession in the first half sustaining drives uh, an issue you got to resolve? Well, it's huge. You know, like I said earlier, we, ha we have to play cleaner football. I don't think it, we're playing clean football right now in the first half. And, and it's come back to haunt us. You know, we have to be able to come out early and play clean football. Nothing complicated about it. Uh, just playing with good technique, playing with fundamentals, playing with detail, and, and be able to sustain those drives and, and get points. Can you put your finger on why you can't play that clean football in that first half? Is it just you get the momentum going, one guy gets a penalty, kind of brings it back? I mean, can you, as a quarterback, look at that and see what's going on? Uh, it's been different things at different times throughout the season. You know, sometimes it's been penalties. Sometimes it's been uh, a sack or negative yardage runs. Um, it's not one thing that um, that we can just hey we stop this one thing and, and it's and it's gone. So, um, like I said, it's cleaner football all the way around. It's a little bit of, of every position, every position group. Uh, we just all need to kind of come together and and be on the same page. You know, um, eliminate the the dumb things that that we can control. You know, like the technique, the fundamental stuff, and then uh, when it comes down to execution, just execute and and we'll be in good shape. Does the tempo establish a, a sense of urgency? Tempo, does that establish a sense of urgency? And if so, how does it do that for you as a quarterback? It can. You know, it, you can use tempo sometimes to, to change the, the defense's look, what they're seeing, um, get them out of the rhythm, so to speak. But it really comes down to sustaining drives. If you, you can't change the tempo, go no huddle, and go three and out, then your defense is right back on the field. So uh, it's about execution when you do change up the tempo. And as far as a quarterback, um, yeah, you, you can – get some different looks on the defense whenever you go up tempo. So uh, it's a tool that, that we'll use, uh, you know, throughout the season. How little time spent uh, with AJ, maybe in, in training camp when you guys were probably both doing a little bit of second team there. How, how much has that uh, impacted your chemistry and, and, and kind of built it here as a, as, a, as a starter for you? Well, it's huge. You know, you the more reps you get, the more time you spend with the guy, obviously the more comfortable and, and the more you can anticipate, you know, how he's going to run, run things. But uh, he's working extremely hard. We're communicating a lot on how I see things, how I see him uh, running routes, and he's doing a good job of, of listening, communicating with me, and then going out and uh, and playing big, strong, tough, physical football. Where did some of that start? You know, maybe in in training camp when uh, you guys were getting a lot of reps together in the first place. Or? Yeah, I think I think uh, you know he missed a lot of the spring um, with uh, I think it was a hammy, but um, so we missed some some opportunities there, but. You know, once he came back in, in training camp, obviously did get some reps with him there, and 
uh, you know, that was always a, a good time for me. What did Chiefs do well on defense? Where, where they could provide the biggest challenges, you think? They do a lot of things well. You know, I think they are a strong front, tough, physical, a big front. Uh, linebackers play play really hard. They pressure a lot. Um, they're going to try to give you a bunch of different looks. Uh, they're physical on the outside. Get hands on the receiver. Try to disrupt the timing. Um, they're going to disguise a lot in, in the secondary. Uh, they're going to zero pressure at times. So they really kind of throw throw a lot of things at you. And as an offense, you kind of have to be on your toes and, and be ready to adjust when you come to the line. How do you, as a quarterback and as a leader, balance an attitude of, OK, let, let's stay the course, see if this sort of figures itself out versus maybe we need to start changing some things and, and sort of get this thing going? Uh, it's situationally. You know, I think it um, depends on what it is. You know, if it's lack of focus, um, lack of effort, you know, those things are things where um, you really got to kind of get on guys and, and make sure we're, we're locked in and headed in the right direction. Uh, if, if someone just gets beat or, um, you know, the other guy makes a play, which happens too, uh, then it's, you know, we're going to be okay. Just, you know, move on from the last play, lock into the next one, and, and I keep playing. You mentioned getting on guys. Have you had those moments since you've take, taken over where you've had those private one-on-ones talking about things that, that need to be fixed or solved? Yeah, there's constant communication, you know, with, with guys, whether it be uh, receivers, tight ends, running backs, offensive line. Um, you really just have to be one unit. And, and to do that, uh, we have to communicate a lot and make sure we're all on the same page. When you threw that uh, long pass to AJ uh, last week, pretty well covered. Uh, what's that say maybe about, uh, I don't know, your, your trust in him to be able to kind of come down with one of those? Yeah, it does a lot. It does a lot to see AJ make that play. You know, it's a play that we've seen him make in practice. Um, Defender had good coverage. He, AJ did a great job of kind of slowing down at the last second, late hands and using his body to, to shield off the defender. So, um, you know, we've seen him go up and make plays, but to see that body control, timing, late hands, you know, that gives you a lot of confidence as a quarterback to be able to, to put a ball in his direction and, and expect him to come down with the football. I'm worried about their defense and anything I know, but Mahomes is a quarterback. <clears throat> when you watch him play and I've seen him play, what are your impressions of him? I haven't watched him a lot this year. Um, but I, I watched him a little bit in the off season, and you know he's a he's a unique player. You know you don't see a lot of guys throwing no look passes, and um, just the way he can create um, down the field, um, explosive. You know he uh, he finds guys that are open, makes some some really good throws, and uh, you know I think plays a little differently than than most quarterbacks. So um, definitely be a challenge for our, for our defense. Rabel said you guys had good focus this morning in the meetings and you kind of know what's at stake this week. Did you feel that as well? And, you know, how do you approach this week? Do you approach it like season on the line, backs against the wall, or just a game you got to win? Well, it's a game we need to win. You know, obviously it's a, it's a one game season for us at this point. You know, we're, it doesn't really matter what, what else is beyond that. You know, we're locked into to win in one game, uh, doing what it takes to win this one game. I think there's good urgency in the building. Um, Good focus, energy on, on what we have to accomplish and, and the task at hand. So we need to be able to carry that throughout the week. And, uh, and on Sunday, go have fun and, and play good football. Brian, when you get to the line of scrimmage, how much flexibility do you have to adjust based on what you're seeing? And, and how comfortable do you feel with that now, you know, three games in? Yeah, it depends on situation, depends on call, depends on defense. Um, we do have some flexibility to, to get ourselves out of out of uh, you know bad situations, you know we build a lot of stuff into the call. Um, that way, the call takes care of it. But there is some flexibility there um, to make sure that we have a good play. That's good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.